Hi preschool friends, welcome back for our daily video. Today's story is going to be a trip to the dentist. I want you to take a look at the front cover of the story. What do you say? What do you say? A bunny. I see a bunny rabbit. Yep, what else do you say? I see a little girl and I also see an older gentleman. He's wearing a white coat and he also has a little mirror. I'm wondering if he is the dentist. We're gonna to read to find out. As we read the story today, I want you to think of something that you found interesting. The question is, what did you find interesting? What did you learn from this story that you didn't know before? Think about it, and then you'll talk to someone in your family after we are done reading the story. A Trip to the Dentist, written by Penny Smith. She is the author. There isn't an illustrator in this book because the, this book has real photographs, real pictures that someone took with a camera. Come on, get your coats, called mom. Sarah and her brother, Josh, tumbled into the room. It's time to go to the dentist for your checkups, said mom. So usually you go to the dentist twice a year to get your teeth checked, get your teeth checked to make sure everything is okay. So that's where they're going. Soon they arrived at the dentist's office Mom told the receptionist their names. The receptionist is the person that checks you in and lets you know that he, you are there, lets the doctor know you're there. I want my teeth to stay strong and white like rabbits, Josh told her. <clears throat> the children played in the waiting room until it was time for their checkups. Then the dentist took them into the examination room. Hi, he said. My name is Dr. Richards. So there he is. He's wearing his white coat. Who's going first? Asked Dr. Richards. Josh climbed into the chair. The dentist pressed the button and the chair tipped slowly backwards. Have you ever been to the dentist before? If you have, have you sat in a chair like this? It's kind of like an amusement park ride. It tips back, it goes up, it's pretty cool. Open wide, said Dr. Richards. First, he checked Josh's gums. The gums are the pink part of your teeth up top for your gums. Then he used a small mirror to look for holes called cavities in Josh's teeth. He didn't find any cavities. Here's the tiny mirror. It's on like a stick so he can put it in your mouth and then he can see. You need to take extra good care of the molars at the back of your mouth, he said. Right now, there is a sticky layer on them. This is called plaque. It can cause cavities, so you need to brush it away. Here are your molars, the teeth in the very back. They're really hard to get to, so you have to make sure you get to them with your toothbrush. The very back of your mouth. Dr. Richards showed Josh a good way to brush. Squeeze a pea-sized blob of toothpaste onto your toothbrush, then gently brush in little circles, he said. I'm sorry. Okay. Josh tried brushing rabbit teeth. How often do you brush your teeth? Asked Dr. Richards. Every day, I think, Josh said. You should brush twice a day, once in the morning and once before you go to bed, said Dr. Richards. Mm -hmm. 
Then it was Sarah's turn. You've lost six of your baby teeth, said Dr. Richards. New incisors are growing at the front. Soon your other baby teeth will get wobbly and fall out. You'll have 32 new teeth in all. Wow, you have 32 adult teeth. That's a lot of teeth. Here are the incisors. The incisors are in the front of your mouth. They help you to rip your food. Then Dr. Richards found a little cavity in one of Sarah's teeth. I'm going to put a filling in here, he said. A filling is a kind of paste that dries hard. It will keep the cavity from getting bigger and giving you a toothache. First, Dr. Richards cleaned out the cavity using a drill. His assistant, Carol, used a suction tip to suck out any saliva or spit. Then she gave Sarah a cup of water to rinse out her mouth. Next, Dr. Richard used an air jet to blow air into the cavity. This dried the cavity so the filling would stick. Then he pushed the filling neatly into the cavity. All done, he said. That wasn't bad at all. Then Dr. Richards pointed to a chart. It helped explain how to prevent cavities. Don't have sugary drinks or candy very often and brush your teeth twice a day, he said. Don't eat chocolate. You can eat it, just not too often. And when you have to make sure you brush. Mm -hmm. The sticker said, to keep your teeth sparkly clean and bright, brush early in the morning and last thing at night. And that's exactly what they did. I really like that story. Let's give that an angel clap. That was very informative. It gave us a lot of information. I want you to think about what did you find interesting? I'm going to tell you what I thought was interesting. I didn't know that the teeth in the back of your mouth were called molars. So I found that interesting. It was a new word for teeth in our mouth that I did not know. Please talk to somebody in your home about something that you found interesting. Enjoy today. I know it's a rainy day. Maybe you can do some fun movement and music exercises at home. And we'll be back tomorrow. See you guys. Bye-bye.